Hey, hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. There is about to be some glare in this video. I uh, don't care. <laughs> I do, but I don't. Anyway, so the intents and purpose for this video is to talk about Cry's War and Iron Heart by Nina Varela. Don't come at me for my pronunciations, okay? I can't speak. Can't speak, okay? Anyway, so it was a way back in 2021, so many years ago. It was like three years ago, <laughs> let's be honest. From today is like three, three, three and a half years ago. Two and a half years. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I read this book called Cryer's War and I kind of immediately got a bit hooked on it and then I never picked up the second book. It's a duology. How hard is it? It was just one more book to find out how it all ends. Did I pick it up? No, I did not. So here we are, two and a half, three years, three and a half years later. I. I don't know maths, okay? I don't know maths. Anyway, <laughs> we are here and I have read, well, I reread Cryer's War and then I read Ironheart, which is the second and final book in this duology. So I finished the duology! Yes, I did, I finished another series! <clears throat> I should not do those voices because they hurt my throat. Yet yeah, I continue doing it. Anyway, so how to best describe this world? I kind of want to say it's like medieval times, um, but with, you know, some kind of technology involved. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm actually not sure how to explain the world, but I want to say it's like medieval times, olden days, not modern days, but also a little bit. <laughs> There's not really that much technology involved. The technology is mostly that we have humans. We have humans and <laughs> at some point, some human decided to, you know, make an automa. I think that's how you're supposed to say it? Anyway, it's basically a robot. Yes. So these, this duology is basically if the Terminator took over medieval times and decided to enslave the humans and rather than kill the humans. <laughs> so basically we follow two people. We follow Lady Cryer who's I guess the prince is about town, <laughs> sort of, um, she is an automa, automa, automaton, she's maid, she is a maid person, um, maid as in she was created, <laughs> And not in the biological sense. But, you know, they look human-ish. Uh, it's just basically the insides of them that are a, a, a different, I suppose. Um, so Lady Cryer is one of the maid people. And then we have a Ayla. Ayla? Yeah. Um, she is human. And... <laughs> Some time ago, her family was killed, and now her mission in life is basically to kill Lady Cryer because her father was the one who ordered the kills on Ayla's family. So basically, that's where we begin. We begin with um, Ayla. Uh, Ayla, not breaking in, but getting into the castle and um, the intents to kill Lady Cryer. But instead of killing her, she saves her. Yeah. And then 
eventually both of them kind of fall in love with each other so we have these we have this sapphic love story as well as you know the political aspect of the Ottoma people the made people and the humans and there are revolutions every now every now and again every here where nowhere so basically uh when <laughs> The, the Ottoman people, the made people, they took over um, the world, more or less. We, we don't see the whole world, we just see uh, a bit of it, um, the land. <laughs> they took over, so they are now in charge, mostly, and the humans are pretty much enslaved to this these Ottoman people. Ottoman? Ottoman? I don't know. So yeah, the, the basic gist of it is the Terminator, ta or Terminators, takes over medieval times and enslaves the humans instead of killing them. That's basically how I want to summarise this series. My thoughts on the journey. <laughs> um, I really like the first book, because um, it, it sort of sets up the the whole world and the story as it were so lady crier is set to marry this dude which has a name that i've forgotten and meanwhile he is maybe not who he says he is or his intents and purposes are not what we think they should be yeah he's he's a sassy dude and we find out more about that as we go along. Uh, but he's also the key to a lot of mysteries and stuff that's not supposed to be solved in a sense. But they are meant to be, I guess, resolved, but not solved. Does that make sense? Probably not. Who cares? <laughs> so... Yeah, I really liked the first book back when I read it in 2021 um, and uh, for some reason I just never picked up the second book because probably because I had a lot of other books to read and buying one certain book apparently wasn't in my <laughs> line of vision. Really liked the first time, second time around I knew what was coming as it were so I was uh, I guess prepared. I, I realised I remembered a lot more of the book than I thought I had when I reread it um so I guess that's good I don't know um but then I picked up book number two so where book number one sets off in this direction book number two is set to resolve it and um, finish it basically and yes we do get all that However, it felt more like a filler book to like get to the end. We could have like, <laughs> I, I don't know an exact amount of pages, so I'm just gonna say a number. We could have had like the last 20 pages in the first book instead of a whole filler book and then the end. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that um, it probably could have just been a standalone. <laughs> um, not that I didn't enjoy it, because I did. Uh, it's very easy, it's a very easy read and it's, uh, it has this fascinating story, but it also, because we do find out a lot more about like the background of uh, our characters and the background of the world and so such, such things. Um, but I feel like this story as a whole probably could have just been a standalone um, with the information and both books combined. Um, so for that, yeah, I could have probably just been fine having not read the second book, um, even though the information we get in it is fascinating to the story as a whole. But yeah, um, I probably would have preferred it as a standalone yeah so that's my hot take of the day
Um, I do, I do actually recommend them though. So, if 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 the premise of it intrigues you, um, the Terminator takes over medieval. The Terminators take over medieval times and enslaves humans, um, with some sapphic love. Because let's not forget about that. Because it, it's it's not the main plot, but it is an ongoing thing. So you know. Also, I suppose it's kind of interracial in a way, since Cryer is a maid maid person and Ayla is a born human. Would that count as interracial? Interspecies? One of them. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm getting way off topic, but anyway, that was um, the Cryer's War duology, which I feel kind of should have a different title, because the title of the first book, Cryer's War, kind of makes me think it's just um, the one POV and not dual POV. So where's Ayla's? Where's Ayla's book? Because Ironheart is what the Ottoman people has as the heart. It's called the... Well, no, it's, it's not the heart. It's not called Ironheart, but where they get their sustenance is called the Ironheart. Oh. Way off topic. Anyway, <laughs> where's Ayla's title? Where's Ayla's title? Yeah, I'll just quit while I'm falling behind. So, you know, thank you so much for watching. Have you read these books? Um, do you wanna? Uh, let me know. Let's have a chat about it, because why not? Why not? Um, but until next time, uh, take care. Oh, boy.